Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be installing Illustrator CC on our Linux desktop. So let's get started. A week ago, I released a video on installing Photoshop CC onto our Linux environment or Linux desktop, laptop, whatever you wanna call it. And this week we are gonna be installing Illustrator CC onto the same laptop. Now, I did change around some stuff. I was playing around with elementary OS on this laptop and a lot of you guys suggested to check out KDE 5.22 or up. And I decided to switch over to that environment and play around with it. So I'm glad I did do that because the last time I played around with KDE was 5.18. And I believe 5.20, a lot of things have switched around, especially for this laptop where it has like a 2K screen. I'm actually finally able to utilize the 2K screen because the scaling functions work properly well on this laptop. And jump back into it before we get off track. Uh, I will be leaving all the links down in the description below so you can follow along, but here we go. Now, again, I am on my KDE desktop. I am using a Dracula theme. I played around with some of the settings, so I will be reviewing this a little bit later. Now, on our previous video where we did Photoshop CC, uh, Gatorbit or Gicterbit, this is the same guy who actually released the same code and he has the same exact code for Illustrator CC and that's what we're gonna be using today. Uh, unfortunately, I think because I'm using HDMI and I'm mirroring the display, I don't see all the cool, you see the, the effects? Like this one has the effect. I don't know why the menu lost the effect. It's supposed to have it on the menus as well. But anyway, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys could see. And I'm gonna navigate over to my downloads directory and git clone that the URL right over here. Again, it's gonna be very similar to when we installed Photoshop before. So we're gonna head over to, we're gonna change directory to Illustrator. And that's it. We go into setup.sh. Okay, let me make this bigger so everything kind of works out. Uh, let me quit this real quick. Five, exit, there you go. Now it's all fixed up. Wow, it actually looks really good with the blur. Uh, we are going to be installing Photoshop CC. It's a little bit easier because I actually don't have to install Camera Raw like two programs at a time. So we all have to do just press one, let that go in. Now, again, I do pay for um, Illustrator and Photoshop and all that other stuff. So I do run this on my desktop. As far as the legality of this application running on Linux, I'm not too sure of. You could probably check on the issues board on this guy's uh, GitHub and figure that out. So apparently I don't have Wine installed. Let me double check that. I do not have Wine installed. So let's get that installed first because that's what we need. I should have read the prerequisites this time. Uh, we need Wine and M5D sum. And yeah, let's, let's do that. So first I am gonna grab the latest version of Wine because I don't wanna use that. So I'm gonna use Wine HQ and let's do that. So Wine HQ, it's the latest version. Download Ubuntu, Ubuntu, and I am using 21.04, so this is the one that I want. I'm gonna grab this. And add the key. Okay, and now I'm gonna add this one. Okay, since this is a fresh install, that's why I'm gonna run into these little bit of issues. Uh, sudo app install wine hq stable. It'll probably give me 6.0. Wow, that's actually a pretty big install, 1.2 gigs. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit because it's, it shouldn't take that long. After this, I am gonna install wine tricks because I think it also needs wine tricks as well. Okay, now that that is installed, sudo app install md5sum is something that they asked for, and wine tricks. I guess that's not a package I need, or a package that's available. Let me double check that. Yeah, all right, that is done. Let's uh, give this a try again. I'm gonna install right there. Yep, there you go. It's gonna install mono right here. As soon as you boot up Wine, it's gonna ask you to install Wine or Mono. So these are the two that 
is gonna automatically pop up. If this doesn't show up, that means it's already installed, so you don't have to worry about it. Since this is the first time I did a fresh install of Wine, it's downloading all the repositories and everything that it needs to install. So this is normal. After that, it's gonna install Gecko. I remember you guys were asking about this on the previous video. It automatically installs once you just run Wine, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, there we go, hit okay. Close that out and it's going to do everything it needs to because I have wine tricks now, I believe. And it should take care of the rest, installing prerequisites, all the stuff that it needs configured so I could get Illustrator running. Now, I don't normally use Illustrator myself. Um, I actually switched it over to Inkscape instead. The only time I really use uh, Illustrator or Inkscape is when I need to do any types of uh, laser cutting or anything that has that requires paths. So I would take an image and turn it into a path so I could use that for laser cutting or something like that. But it is very rare. And those are the only times that I would use it. And I find Inkscape a little bit easier because I've been using Inkscape a little bit longer than I have with Illustrator, even though Illustrator could do exactly the same thing. Now I'm gonna let this download and we'll, we'll come back once it's finished. Uh, all right, that was it. Actually, as soon as it finished, no setup prompt came up. I thought it would, but let's see if it actually runs. Oh, wow. I didn't even need to go through any setup or anything. Huh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, let me make a new document. Oh yeah, look at that. That worked out pretty well. Wasn't there a path that I put there? Again, I don't use this enough to justify how to use it. I rather use Inkscape instead, but it seems to me everything is working. No install issues um, went right through. And yeah, I mean, it seemed to be working. Let me see if I could do this. Um, just playing around with it. I haven't used as much, but that is pretty cool that I could do all this stuff. And I would love to learn how to use Illustrator a little bit more, but what is it? Is it just this one? Yeah, this is the one where I could change the anchors and everything. Cool. Anyway, uh, that is it for me, guys. Illustrator worked out perfectly fine. I did have to install Wine, and I did go through the Wine HQ website. That's because I wanted the 6.0 version. And if you want to use a later version, which is like 6.14 or 6.13 of Wine, you could just use uh, Wine HQ staging. The staging one is the higher version. But ultimately, it worked without a hitch. I just ran the installation script. I didn't even have to go through any prompts other than the Wine prompt, and everything worked out as it should. Anyway, if you guys have any other software you want to see installed onto the computer, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.